क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द रीजन what we said as we described in the previous lecture we'll be going through certain reasons the reasons that are the causes of the difference between the cash book and the pass book hence why we need to prepare this bank reconciliation statement how we prepare that and what is the reason why the difference arises between the bank pass book and the cash book will be reflected in this specific lecture so if you remember there was an example which was shared in the previous lecture the bank owner the owner of the company the branch manager who confirmed certain details that mr a the branch owner or probably the owner of the firm has certain amount in his cash book and as per that balance he gives out a checks for withdrawal so once this specific check is given for withdrawal the branch manager confirms to him that the balance in his account is not sufficient to withdraw that much amount hence mr a now visits his chartered accountant who confirms that there need to be a bank reconciliation statement to find out the reasons now these reasons will be classified in this lecture so we have two categories of reasons that might be the probable cause why there is a difference between the bank pass book and the cash book of the owner the first category is time gap category <music> so as we have discussed that we'll be going through the reasons where we find out the reasons of the probable causes between the difference between the cash book and the pass book the first category what we have discussed or what we need to discuss is the time gap category now when we talk about the time gap category we will understand or will analyze the reasons when a specific transaction which has been mentioned in one book and has been omitted or hasn't been mentioned in the other pass book or probably the cash book and that's the reason one of the probable causes the difference arises between the bank pass book and the owner's cash book so we'll understand the first category which is known as the time gap category so as we have discussed that we will be classifying the time gap reasons or the time gap category reasons these are certain reasons that i have mentioned on the book here the first being check issued but not credited to the client that means one of the probable reason for time gap would be we have issued a check we as an owner we have issued a check to one of our client however the client has not made this specific check in the bank or has not deposited this specific check in the bank and that's the reason the balance in the passbook doesn't show any difference or probably the balance in the passbook doesn't go down that's one of the reason why we have a decrease in our cash book but the balance in the passbook still remains the same the other one would be check deposited into the bank but not credited that means we have deposited certain check in our bank however the bank hasn't credited that amount in our account one of the probable reason why my cash book balance will be showing on the higher side and the pass book balance will be showing on the lower side there might be certain other charges which might be levied by the bank on the account itself which i have no idea about unless and until i update my pass book or unless and until i receive any confirmation from the bank as these are certain charges which might be the atm debit card charges or some check written charges or any account maintenance balance charge which has been mentioned on the account however unless and until i don't have any confirmation of these accounts or these transactions in my cash book my balance with the cash book and the pass book won't tally at all the other category of the cash book or probably the difference between the cash book and the pass book transactions will be mentioned as the income that we have received so we as owner of the branch or probably the owner of the bank account we need to understand that there are certain incomes that we receive like interest which has been credited by the bank in terms of quarterly growth or in terms of annual growth the dividend which might have received on the account of the investments that we hold with the bank so such dividends are directly credited into the account and they are not updated to us unless and until we get our pass books updated there might be one more reason where there is a third party deposit in our account directly that means some of our client might have gone ahead and deposited the amount into the bank account 
without our confirmation or probably without informing us. So that's the reason a passbook will be showing on the higher side. However, the cash book will be still showing a stagnant balance. So these are certain reasons where we understand that the time gap category holds an important information as to the difference between the cash book of the owner and the passbook of the bank. So these reasons will be one of the probable causes of the differences. Apart from these time gap reasons, we have other set of reasons which we known as errors committed due to human mistake. So there are three kind of errors that might be committed due to human mistake. One being complete omission, second being recording twice, third being recording a wrong amount. So one being if you have omitted the complete transaction by recording or in recordance of the passbook or on the cash book that might be one of the probable reason where a human error has caused a difference in the cash book and the passbook second part being where the recorded amount has been erroneously obtained as or has been erroneously mentioned as a wrong amount for example if the check which was deposited in the account has been mentioned of rupees 10,000. However, the check amount is only 1,000. So the balance in the cash book will be shown in an uplifted manner. However, the balance in the passbook will be shown in a downlifted manner because the actual amount of check deposited has been only 1,000. However, in our cash book, we have mentioned it as 10,000. An additional zero can cause a lot of difference in the maintenance of balance of the cash book and the passbook. The third reason being there is a totaling error. So when we total the account, if in case we have mentioned that the cash book balance is actually 90,000, however, we have mentioned it as 9 lakh. There has been certain totaling error. If supposingly, for example, if we have a balance of 90,720, where in the past book, it just shows as the balance is 90,702. So there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook where erroneously we have mentioned it as 720 instead of 702. So this is one probable reason where we understand that there is a difference between the passbook and the cash book. And the causing reason is not because of any time gap. It is because of the errors committed by the human. So when you know that there is a difference, these are the two probable causes because of which you might find difference between the bank, passbook and the cash book. Now, in the next video, we'll be learning how to make or how to resolve these issues with a specific format which we need to understand. We'll be understanding certain formulas, we'll be understanding certain prescriptions, we'll be understanding certain formats that we need to follow in order to effectively solve these situations and prepare the bank reconciliation statement in the most effective way where getting an answer becomes just like an easy part of us. So, thank you for watching eKeda. Keep subscribing to eKeda.